Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Letter Challenge. We are halfway, halfway there. It's a 40 day challenge. We are on day 20 and we're taking into a new week, a new week. We have now just sat with the first work being, being with Christ, being with God, being able to uncover how our relationship and what some of the disciplines can be to be able to harbor a better relationship with God by opening up our Bible, by reading the Bible, by praying to him, by worshiping him, by finding a solitary place, talking about Sabbath rest, being able to love one another, um, comes back to the reality that being with Christ is, is really crucial. Jesus said it in the first part of the greatest of the commandments, right? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and your soul and your mind. And then love your neighbor as yourself. However, we're getting there. Uh, the second week was really just, just receiving once again that we are forgiven children of God. That no matter how big our sin is, it's not bigger than God's grace. And so being with Christ has taught us about the identity, uh, has, has shown us the character of our God in Jesus Christ, which is a forgiving God. And when we're overwhelmed by those two things, when we're with Christ and know him as a forgiving God, there, there, is, there is a release from us. There is a living, overwhelming grace from us that really does the things that God has in store for us to do. I love reading the love chapter, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. I love reading throughout the gospel how much God pursued his people in love and then their reaction to it. I love putting myself into the shoes of the disciples, being mentored and discipled for year after year. And then all of a sudden, hey, I'm going to leave you, but you're prepared. And so loved them, loved them, loved them, forgave them, pursued them, and then sent them. That's what we're going to be able to speak about this week because we're diving deep into the, the third target of being a disciple of Jesus, which really speaks about serving. And this has a lot to do as you're reading through your challenge books on one, page 128, as Zach mentions very heavily, um, he speaks towards, this is going to be a week of a lot of doing. Huh. In a place where we're sitting with the COVID-19 coronavirus that says we need social distance from one another, we're now challenged even more so. <laughs> Serving, doing, what can I do throughout this week? It's going to be an awesome opportunity. I really I really believe that. It's not just because I want to be an optimist at heart. I just It's going to be an awesome opportunity for us to be with Christ this week, maybe in the weeks to come, to just things are canceled, things aren't going to be taking place around. It's going to be a time where we can really open up our Bibles, where we can really spend a time in solitary place praying. Uh, it's going to be a time where we can actually think about and, and, and receive once again that incredible forgiveness of Christ. But it's also going to be a week that I want to challenge you in serving others. It's not the easiest not to be able to be people to people, but it is an opportunity for you to make that phone call. It is the opportunity to really get down and pray for, for people. Uh, pray for somebody that's on your heart. Pray for somebody uh, that is your enemy. Pray for somebody uh, that you could serve in some kind of fashion. Uh, and so it's going to challenge us, yes, but it's not going to take it off the drawing board. And so um, I love this part on page 128. I just want to read this. It says, um, now as we turn to a week of serving, there's going to be a lot of doing. And I want to remind you that it's not because God says do this or do that that we enter into a challenge like this. A relationship with God is not about checking off a box that says, I did this and I did that and look at how great I am. My relationship with God is all about receiving God's love and grace and being so compelled by that love and grace that I can't help but want to do what God is asking me to do. What is God asking us to do? Love him and love others. How do I love others in this time frame? That's a great question. That's a great prayer that you could have because there still is great opportunity to be able to love others during this time of distancing in our society. The reality to that is really praying over how do I serve others? It's not going to be normal when we aren't going to be able to show up at church and check the box. Are you going to sit in your house? and being able to play these videos or get on our YouTube channel to be able to worship with your family. It's going to look different. It's going to be a little bit uh, awkward. But that's because sometimes our normalcy just checks off the box. Right? It just, I did church. I went to church. I'm a good person. Um, I 
listened to a video. Um, I uh, made sure that I was kind to somebody um, as I was walking by and said, hey, have a good day. Those are great things, but a lot of times they're checking off the boxes so that we can merit our worthiness before God. So it's going to challenge us this week to be able to serve God, to be able to serve God by serving others in a different, different manner. So I encourage you, pick up that phone, write that letter. Um, if you're comfortable being able to see what your neighbors truly need in this time, Maybe you have some elderly neighbors that are, are anxious and don't want to go out. How could you serve them by going out, grabbing something for them? Um, there's still opportunities to serve in our community. Uh, let's just think a little bit harder this time. And the reason why we serve is really the point of what's put forward here on page 131. Because you say so, I will. Because you say so, I will. We have... Uh, dove, dove into a deep relationship with God, His forgiveness, and so we trust Him. We trust God that God has the best for us. And so because you say so, I will. As you turn to page 132, you can dive into the scriptures. I'm not going to dive into the scriptures so much with you today because we'd love for you to turn on that YouTube channel um, in just a little bit at 9 o'clock or 1045 um, and being able to worship with us. Uh, and within that worship, we're going to open up the Word of God and uh, we're going to be able to speak to the message that God has for us today as well about serving. And it's going to be about washing feet um, as uh, Jesus was one 